my sleep should be thought of as sacred. Salem, have you seen my clean laundry? Yes, and it was quite comfortable, thank you. If you're sleeping in my clean clothes again... <laughs> You'll never know. Ruffled clothes offend the eye. Quickly wash and quicker dry. Wait, stop! No shrinking! What's that? Salem? Hmm, yes? Uh, problem, Sabrina? You sound, uh, concerned. <sighs> no, I just need my favorite jeans. They're perfect for a bike ride with Harvey, as long as they're not covered in cat hair. Huh? What's wrong with my jeans? What's wrong with me? <gasps> I'm fat! Oh my gosh, school pictures are this week. I can't have my picture taken like this. Don't panic, Sabrina. There's time to lose the weight. I just have to get serious. Hey, Sabrina, slow down. My cramps are getting cramps. Come on, Harvey. There'll be plenty of time to rest later, like next Tuesday. I don't think I'm going to make it to next Tuesday. Hey! Yeah! Ah! Oh, man. The chain came off. Uh, here, let me help you. Can't waste time resting, you know. Gosh, Sabrina, what's with all this exercise all of a sudden? I want to lose some weight for school pictures this week. Hmm, what for? They only take a picture of your face. So you're saying I really do need to lose weight? No, no, I'm saying you don't need to bother. Because I'm already hopeless? I'm a lost cause? I'm fat? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying... Uh, I'm trying to say my bike lost its chain. Huh. Well, some of us have weight to lose. Wrist weights, Sabrina? And the ankle weights? And the sweatband? It's also 1988 gym class. Well, you know school pictures are coming up this week. Oh my gosh, school pictures? All my best tops are at the cleaners. My hairdresser is in Aruba. This is a crisis! You're not kidding. The only good thing about this week is that Mr. Snipe has gone to some netherworld conference. Today we're going to learn about the art of thaumaturgy. Our first experiment will deal with creating light. We begin with a dash of extract of firefly. I wonder if Cassandra thinks I look fat. Next, add a pinch of dried purple fireweed. That Miss McGroney thinks I do. Now, put in one small lump of cave giant bitumen and grind well. Wish I could just grind the pounds away. Why does losing weight have to be so hard? That should be sufficient, girls. Uh, Sabrina? Sabrina! Uh, what? Grinding time is over. You may add a pinch of sunflower pollen now. Wow. Hmm. Sometimes you have to jumpstart the magic with a nudge from your wand. Like this? Sabrina? See me after school. Yes, Miss McGrooney. Now, class, 
With Mr. Snipe gone, it's been a long enough day for me already. I want each of you to carefully add the catalysts in your test tubes to your flask. Observe the reaction. Oh! Hey. Hmm. <laughs> Why isn't this working? Miss McGroony did say sometimes things need a little jump start. Oh no! What's happening? Whoa! 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 Miss McGroony, over here! Sabrina, I should have known. Quick now, class! Everybody out! This is not a drill. Whoa! I saw that little trick with the wand, Spellman. Ah! Sabrina, I want to... See me after school. Yes, ma'am, I bet you do. So I have to work in the cafeteria for the next few days for detention. I got cafeteria detention once. I left my dirty gym socks in my locker too long. Pretty soon, they were trying to destroy Tokyo. You were scrubbing pots for weeks. You didn't just get dishpan hands, you got dishpan everything. Sabrina, sweetie, you didn't eat your dinner. Yes, I did. I'm full. I just can't eat. Full on three green beans and a baby carrot? Sweetie, the parsley was the garnish, not the whole meal. Well, waste not, want not. School pictures are this week. I want to look my best. Sabrina, you already do look your best. You know how important it is to eat a balanced diet. Well, Sabrina, just promise us you'll eat healthy from now on. Deal? Oh, don't worry. Oh, is that the time? I'd love to stay and talk about food, but I gotta go. Well, I don't like it. She's starving herself to lose some imaginary weight. I remember doing the same thing when I was her age. Not me. I got sent to General Cheesehead and he quickly cured me of all that nonsense. You know, General Cheesehead might be just the thing. I wonder if we could get him to help Sabrina. <laughs> Mrs. Crudup, this is Sabrina. Nice to meet you. Kind of puny, isn't she? Don't worry, she'll make short work of those pots and pans. <gasps> I suggest you use gloves. Gloves? How about a hazmat suit? Why am I so wiped? I'm usually not this tired. Guess I'm usually not this hungry. I'm out of here. Just pull the back door shut when you go. It's already locked. Yes, Miss Crudup. See you tomorrow. Like Miss McGurney said, some things need a little jump start. I'll just rest my eyes for a few seconds. into this mess. Let's see if it can get me out of it. Scene of chaos, please erase. Pots return to their proper place. <sighs> that 
that's weird. I just took a nap, and I'm still tired. Guess it really is time for bed. Uh, why do mornings show up so early? Uh, I missed that, Sabrina. You had a bed in your mouth. Oh, what's the matter, kiddo? You feel bad? No, I feel fat. You what? Whoa! Oh, good one, Sabrina. You really got me with that one. As if you're fat. Really. No, I mean it! Look at me! I can't even fit into my favorite jeans anymore. Um, Sabrina? About those jeans. What about them? No, no, Sabrina, listen to me. I slept in them, washed them, and then I shrunk them when I dried them too fast. Yuck. Boy, do I hate confessing. Oh, Salem, that is so sweet of you, making up that story so I won't feel bad about getting fat. You really are a friend. <laughs> yeah, a friend who shrinks your clothes. I thought people were supposed to believe you when you told the truth. If I'm quiet, Aunt Hilda and Aunt Zelda won't know I skipped breakfast. I have to work some more in the cafeteria anyway. Tell them that, okay? Oh, I'll tell them all right. Hey, you want to have lunch with me today? My mom gave me enough pizza for two. Mm, no thanks. Food makes me sick. Sabrina, turn down pizza? I don't believe it. Phew. I don't get it. My brain never bothers me if I don't study. But if I don't eat, my stomach won't leave me alone. Man, I'm exhausted. I know I'm not supposed to use magic, but I don't have a choice. Pans and scrubber know what to do. Keep on washing till you're through. It's so good. And so full of calories, too. I can't eat that. Ah! 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 No, no, I can't eat anything. Ah! Looks like a picnic. Sabrina, you've been avoiding us. Well, yeah, food makes you fat. That's a negative, soldier. The right food makes you healthy. I've got school pictures. I can't afford to eat. You can't afford not to. So, this is how you want to play it, huh? You think food's the enemy, do you? You are the enemy. Only if you treat us that way, Missy. So, you leave me no choice. Charge! No, no, this can't be happening! Ah! Oh, man, I'm glad it was just a dream. Gotta stay away from food! Hey, my wand! Oh.
Move it, troops. We have to teach that kid to eat and eat healthy. Miss McGurney, help! There's a food fight in the cafeteria. Well, that's a job for the janitor, Sabrina, not me. No, ma'am. I mean, the food is fighting. Like, grr, and oh no, and run for your lives. Run for your lives! Oh, Sabrina. Yes, ma'am. You're gonna want to see me after school. Bingo. If anybody can straighten out Sabrina, General Cheesehead can. I can't believe she thinks she's fat. It's so silly. Civilians, I've got a corn cob, and I'm not afraid to use it. Looks like the general is a few crackers short of a box. I'm out of here. Ooh, whole cream. Well, I am a little parched. Wow! Curse my refined palate. I... I wanted to look my best. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm afraid sorry isn't going to be enough. You made food your enemy, and you need to change that and fast. <gasps> Miss McGrooney! Darn thing's no good until I clean it. Sabrina, we have to get to a washroom. No, Miss McGrooney. I started this. I need to finish it. I'm going in. Sabrina! No! Time for a little attitude about food adjustment. Food isn't your enemy, Sabrina. It's about eating right and exercising. Listen to us, sweetie. Not eating at all is just as unhealthy as eating too much. It's about creating a balance. Oh, just smack him with a spatula and get me down from here. Stop! You were all right and I was wrong. Food's not my enemy. Please, can we be friends? Well, of course, dear. Friends it is. Eat a bit and there will be peace. Hmm. All you were saying is give peas a chance? worked out just fine. Everything? Oh, I know I'm gonna have to come up with a top-notch forgetfulness spell. Yes? And I'm gonna have to spend extra hours in cafeteria detention. I promise I will definitely not use magic this time. Yes? After. After what? After I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Don't binge, sweetheart. That's really bad. Remember, with food, just enough is just right. Never fear. General Cheesehead is here. General Cheesehead says you are what you eat. So eat right and not too much. Aye, aye, General. I think I got it. Thanks. Good job.